Simon. Simon. More cold water. Change my bandage. Oh, this itching is unbearable. Jean Paul, don't scratch yourself. You'll tear your skin to shreds. Give up writing, Jean Paul. Won't do any good. My call, my 14th of July call to the people of France. Jean Paul, please be more careful. Look how red the water's getting. And what's a bath full of blood compared to the bloodbath still to come? Once we thought a few hundred corpses would be enough. Then we saw that thousands were still too few. And today we can't even count all the dead. Are there any of our enemies left anywhere? Everywhere, everywhere you look. There they are, up on the rooftops, down in the cellars, behind the walls. Hypocrites! They wear the people's cap on their heads, but their underwear is embroidered with crowns. And if so much as a shop gets looted, they squeal, Beggars! Villains! Gutter rats! Simon, my head's on fire. I can't breathe. There's a rioting mob inside me. Simon. I am the revolution. Corday's first visit. I have come to speak to citizen Mara. I have an important message for him about the situation in Caen, my home, where his enemies are gathering. We don't want any visitors. We want a bit of peace. If you've got anything to say to Mara, put it in right writing. <laughs> <laughs> what I have to say to him cannot be said in writing. want to stand in front of him and look at him. I want to see his body tremble and his forehead bubble with sweat. I want to thrust right between his ribs the dagger which I carry between my breasts. I shall Take the dagger in both hands and push it through his flesh. And then I shall hear what he has to say to me. <laughs> Not yet, Corday. You must come to his door three times. Song and mime of Corday's arrival in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Shall it smile and fade in his party suit? 
is this. The sun can hardly pierce the haze, not a haze made out of rain and fog, but steaming thick and hot, like the mist in a slaughter house. Why are they howling? What are they dragging through the streets? They carry stakes, but what's impaled on those stakes? Why do they hop? What are they dancing for? Why are they Racked with laughter, why do the children scream? What are those heaps they fight over? Those heaps with eyes and mouths. What kind of town is this? Huh? Muttocks lying in the street. What are all these faces? Soon these faces will close around me. These eyes and mouths will call to me to join happening and you can't stop it happening. The people used to suffer everything. Now they take their revenge. You are watching that revenge and you don't remember that you drove the people to it. Now you protest, but it's too late to start crying over spilt blood. What is the blood of the aristocrats compared with the blood the people shed for you? Many of them had their throats slit by your gangs. Many of them died more slowly in your workshops. So what is this sacrifice compared with the sacrifice the people made to keep you fat? What are a few looted mansions compared with their looted lives? You don't care. If the foreign armies with whom you've been making secret deals march in and massacre the people, you hope the people will be wiped out so you can flourish. And when they are wiped out, not a muscle will twitch in your puffy bourgeois faces, which are now all twisted up with anger and disgust. Monsieur de Sir, we can't allow this. You really can't call this education. It isn't making my patients any better. They're all becoming overexcited. 